So Jurassic World Dominion will be the third entry in the reboot Jurassic Park movies. Oh, really? Um, yeah. There was a second? Why, have you not seen last? Yeah, there was um, the one with the weird clone girl where they cloned a dinosaur and then they cloned a girl as well or something. Yeah. And I... then if, at the end of it, dinosaurs get released into the world and then this one picks up where that leaves off. So dinosaurs are just out and about everywhere and they're trying to like herd them all up again. But um, this this movie starts with um, like a real good like depiction of dinosaurs like back in the day. Back in the day. like Back in the day. Oh, remember the 90s, <laughs> yeah, like, mate. <laughs> Yeah, well, a bit before then. <laughs> and I, I just put down here, I think this CGI is the best version of real-life dinosaurs we've ever seen. And the first half of the clip that they released specifically really captures the sense of scale and wonder that we got in the first Jurassic Park film. Right. Well, are you, are you pausing for me to talk, or were you just being quiet? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I'd elaborate yeah, we do on this. that. We, we podcast, we're good at this. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know, like one day we hope to be on like the radio or something like that, and this is perfect oh, for yeah. that, you know, just someone being quiet. Um, Jurassic, Jurassic Park World, all that stuff, I didn't even know there was a second one. I guess that shows how in tune I am with it. And the thing is, correct me if I'm wrong, but Chris Pratt is still like the main... Um, star in jurassic series right uh, or has he been yeah I, I assume he is in the third one as well um but he was in the first two his two. his stock is on the way down bro so maybe that'll affect jurassic world a lot of people don't like him is it yeah like um why I, it was one of those things where do you know where he portrayed star lord and he was like some guy in parks and rec that a uh, comedy tv series and people loved those characters so they assumed yeah. that he was like those characters and then it sort of came out that he was very different in real life and like i don't know a lot came out about him and it was like oh this guy's actually not that good of a person and then he made a instagram post that i don't know if i really want to talk about in too much detail because it's a bit sensitive do you know what i mean but he basically like You're right. it sort of seemed like he was giving a bit of like uh, I don't know what the word is, giving a bit of stick to his ex-wife for having a disabled kid, and like he was, he was sort of like, because he had his his kid. Um, I'm not really sure what disability his first kid had, but he sort of like put an Instagram post up that sort of suggested that he was sort of like, yeah, well, I finally have a healthy kid. Thank you for that sort of thing, and it was like, I don't know, but. Could that not just be like a sort of bad taste joke, like no. not meant with malicious intent? E even even if it was a I've bad taste joke, that's a bit like no. In, in real life, he's not that much of a jokester. He's a very serious dude, and he's very like he's uber religious too. He's like mega religious, so he wouldn't joke about something like that. But anyways, ignoring all of that, all I know is the internet's opinion of him went from good to bad pretty quick and the opinion of him now is really bad because he's voicing mario right and garfield <laughs> yeah, that, that's what i thought you were gonna say <laughs> he's voicing garfield as well bro not just mario Doesn't garfield know, yeah. and um i could i could see him as garfield more than mario to be honest yeah and they asked him about mario said you're gonna do an accident and he said no it's my voice and i was like well that's gonna be hmm. weird but apparently there was an animated version of mario where they do where they don't have an italian accent either I've well, not seen that one, but the original maybe that's what they're basing it off. The know. original uh, Mario TV series back in the day, where it was animated, they had an Italian American accent. So you know, like a Brooklyn, right. New York type, you know, a Luigi uh, yeah. type type accent, not a <laughs> not a yeah. full on let's -a go, you know, that type of thing. Yeah. By the way, that was uh, Mario himself. Uh, uh, Joe, I just had a message in from one of our viewers. They're saying, "Can you keep that accent up for the rest of the show, please?" I can try. <laughs> we literally had Charles, uh, Ma what's his name, Martinet or whatever, into the studio just no. then. That he's here for the audio listeners. He's our special guest today. Yes, it's me, Charles. I'm here. I don't like a Chris Pratt. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be really you're really gonna be fooling the people watching on video. <laughs> uh, fooling? What do you mean? He's uh, hey Charles, tell us a joke. What do you call a Italian plumber? 
Mario. Hey, that that's the humour he's known for. That there he is. What a guy. What oh a God. legend, bro. Um, but Jurassic World Park, whatever. Um, I don't really know. I don't care too much. What do you think? Well, they basically they released this. Um, what, it, it's not like a trailer. It's more like the opening scene. So the first okay. half of this opening scene is like the dinosaurs in their natural habitat and this is a really sort of like a really beautiful like wondrous scene like they really it it seems like they really cared about making it look great right Right. like uh you know when you first see the dinosaurs in the first jurassic park films like i I really think they recaptured that you know like the wonder and scale of it which is pretty hard to do now that everything's cgi right yeah so i thought it was pretty impressive but then the second half i thought wasn't as strong um in the second half of this clip, they it, it is back in the present day, and they're chasing down a T Rex that has escaped. And I think there's a bit of a missed opportunity because they're all they're all at this um, they're at like a, you know those drive-in cinemas, the, yeah, like the outdoor drive-in cinemas. I know exactly. Like big things yeah. in America, right? And I thought they missed a really good opportunity here to have the T Rex like crash through the cinema screen, but That's... the T Rex comes from the other side of the car park. So oh. he ends up on the stage, but he doesn't crash through the screen. I thought they were all going to be watching it, and he crashes through the screen like, um, like I think as part of the movie or something. That's, that's that been, been epic. That's been done before, right? Surely Has that's it? been done in like not in a Jurassic Park film necessarily, but uh, a dinosaur or some sort of monster crashing through a drive-in theater screen. Yeah, it must have been right. It's like a but classic thing. You thought that was a sick thing to yeah, put in there. Like, but it they went like it was setting up. They went nah, didn't. bro. Like, yeah. Um, yeah, talking about dinosaurs and that real quick i got a really quick little thing to t- ask you about what your opinion Fire is away. right did you, you know this no this is this is like <laughs> fairly recent news but not like it's not ancient news but it's like like maybe three months two months ago did you know they have gone ahead and they've decided to approve the plans to bring back the woolly mammoth and we could be seeing them reintroduced into the wild um, properly by like really? 2020 Why? really genuinely genuinely um, they, they're going through this whole like DNA splicing thing and they're going to put it in an Asian elephant I think the, the embryo in an Asian elephant and it's going to be a bit of a mix but I don't know what they uh, they said something about how woolly mammoths might have a positive effect on our environment due to something they do with snow and ice or something like that and I was like Eh? I just think it's somebody's gone, that would be so cool, and then come up with a good excuse after the fact, and gone like, it's because of the environment, and then people have gone, okay, sure. But genuinely, genuinely (laughs) it is going ahead, and it is going to be like, woolly mammoths are going to return to the wild, like, as a real thing, like in the next ten years sort of thing. It won't be a woolly mammoth though, will it? It'll be like some hybrid... Yeah, it's version of a mammoth, right? They've t- obviously they've taken the DNA from the woolly mammoth or whatever, because obviously they've got frozen ones, which I think's like crazy, right? And then they're gonna mix it yeah. with the Asian elephant, I think, so that that's man. I think Bro. it's something to do with so that it can actually be born in an elephant and the body, because right. you, you know, like if you put an embryo in a body that wasn't the same species type of thing, your body would think it wasn't supposed to be there and your antibodies would, like, attack it, yeah, and your white blood cells, so, yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting. I don't know, bro. Like, if anything, Jurassic, like, all the Jurassic Park movies taught us do not mess with, like, trying to clone stuff and bring stuff back. Like, every movie, every one of those movies is about that going wrong. (laughs) <laughs> but science and technology no matter how many times you tell science or technology slow down because you get into a bad point it won't stop because somebody somewhere will make a discovery which leads to another one which true. leads to it, it's it true yeah that's why we got the metaverse in it this is a clip from the fireside podcast check out the full podcast link below <sighs> hey, 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 you're sad. 